Winter April, so today's video is going to be a review for Sister Wigs, which is the Outre Quick Weave, and this is called Brenda. Now, first of all, to me, this seems like one of their older version wigs because, um, when I say version, not virgin, version wigs, only because of the actual um, stock card. This more or less looks like one of their older wigs. I could be incorrect, but this is heat resistant up to 400 degrees, and the color that I have going on is the 1B27613. So, if you can see, there are a little tiny bit of hairs with the 613. Nothing really major, like to be like, oh, oh my god, the wig is too much 613 when it's really not. So, anyway, I decided to get this because it looked like a really light style for the summer, kind of like a really nice length, and it did have kind of like a silk part. So, I did tweeze some of the hairs, and of course, I did add some concealer because the silk parts are more or less kind of like a brown kind of type of color. So, I did go ahead and do that. So, it is supposed to be kind of like a quick weave complete cap. It's not considered a lace front, so of course, there is a band right here, and it kind of like sits up high. It's not so flat, but but it does have like the plastic comb in it and the actual combs and adjustable strap in the nape area. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And like I said, this is called Brenda and the color is one um, PLT1B27613. I'm not really enthused with the color layout of it. Like there's really not a lot of coloring in it like I want it. But you know what? As for the hair fibers, it's kind of like in between a silky and a yakky. It's not so silky straight. But from just from the stock card, it looks like to me one of their older version wigs before they started revamping and getting a little bit, you know, extra. So let's go ahead and do this. And like I said, it's from sisterwigs.com. by Outre, which is called Brenda. So the name kind of like suits the wig perfectly because it's not so long. This is probably like in between 14 and 16 inches. Um, this is a really great everyday casual office type of hairstyle because it's not so overwhelming. It's not so full. It's not so long. It's very classic and kind of like temper, um, contemporary you know what I'm saying um but modern it has like a little modern spin on it only because of the swoop now the one thing that I really really wish that they would have done differently with this unit is why would you just put one comb right here okay what about right here like you don't think that we need that that's the one thing that I really wish they would have done differently with this unit and also kind of like have made it into a lace front so that way it doesn't sit so high up right here. You do need to kind of like hike your hair up if you want to blend it well. I wouldn't say just sitting this on your head like, okay, okay I'm just going to walk out the door and I'm going to wear this and I'm going to look flawless. No. Now, like I said, I think this is one of their older styles because of the stock card and simply because of the way it's created. If I'm wrong, then I do apologize, Outre. But I think there is a little bit of tweaking that needs to be done to this unit. Like, can we get a little bit more color? Um, because the 613 is really not that noticeable. But can we get a little bit more combs and put this unit into lace front? Like, it's a cute style. It's very versatile. You know, you can wear this actually out on a girl's night out and still look fleek on fleek, whatever you want to call it. But, in my opinion, I really think there needs to be a little bit of tweaking done to this Brenda per, per se style. So, the actual model in the unit is rocking the hell out of it. I like the way she's wearing it, which is kind of very similar to mine. Of course, you don't see a part in it. But, I am one of those who really like a part in their unit to be, you know, visible to the world. Because, I just really want you to think that I'm rocking either a good-ass weave or my own hair. I just... I don't really care if it's not the truth. I just really want you to think that. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, for those of you who do like that average kind of length, that more realistic kind of flow, then this is the wig style for you. Now, as for the texture of it, like I said, it's in between kind of like a silky and a light yakky, which is good because it's not so silky to where you know that it's fake. But I've noticed like when the hair is really, really silky, it's kind of limp. This one doesn't give that limp look. You see that it gives kind of like a flow and a volume to it. But for the 613, I, re 
I could care less. I could have went with a 1B and you would have not even noticed the difference in it. Like, there really isn't a lot of 613. Like, it doesn't scream. Oh, my God, girl, you got some highlights in your hair. It doesn't scream that. They are very, very sparingly. They really spared the um, highlights in this unit. Like, like, if it was on a budget. Um, make sure you have a bobby pin because you do want to bobby pin this side right here. But like I said, she is available on sisterwigs.com and she's really, really inexpensive. I do love doing the inexpensive cheap wig because they're more affordable. Check and out sisterwigs.com. Get 10% off on this unit by using code MUFFIN in capital letters and make sure that you are registered and logged into the website of sisterwigs.com prior to using that code because if you're not logged in and registered, the code will not work for you. So yes, on that note, stay diva and delicious. Make sure you check out sister21.com, which is the makeup site of sisterwigs.com, where you can get fleeked, baked, flawless, and whatever else you want to call it on a budget. And on that note, stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and of course, thumb this video up. Come on, it's me, your girl April. And I'll see you girls and guys on my next video.